Hey guys, so we've got what I've done. Um, I'm using the P. Louise Going Solo and I've got to admit I really, really like the look. So I'm going to try and remember what I did. Um, okay. So first of all, I went in with On The Rocks. Um, so let's do that. And I'm using these new Jessup brushes here. So I went in with this one. <clears throat> I'm going to have to wash them. I need to go and get some baby shampoo because that's how I wash my brushes. I don't know why I'm kind of colour switching it off on my pyjama bottoms. Um, but that's the brush there. It's a really nice crease brush. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in with On The Rocks, that one there. And I haven't used that shade before. I need a mirror, don't I? I'm going to zoom in. Um, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury mirror because I don't know where my other mirrors are. So kind of like patted it into the crease. I didn't go all the way into the inner corner though because I don't because grey is quite a dark shade. I don't want it to be really really dark. Um, so yeah, I'm patting it. And this kind of palette isn't me. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know greys are just not me at all. This palette reminds me of a Jeffree Star colour story. This this palette here reminds me of the cremated palette that Jeffree Star brought out, but a mini version of it. So, I'm just going to go into the outer V and flick it out. And do it to about there. If you've not tried these brushes, guys, I highly recommend them. Um... I'm actually liking them better than my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brushes and they're at a fraction of the price. You could get four sets for what you get one set of the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brushes. So now I need to blend that out. What brush did I use for that? We'll just use this. Then I went in with Untie the Knot, this one down here. I think I used this brush. Um, we're just blending it out, making it look seamless, and obviously not as dark as well. It's a really simple, I think, four eyeshadow look, no, five eyeshadow look. Right, and then I went in with this Jessup Beauty pencil brush and I went in with the darker shade in the palette I know who am I right um, and I went in with Ring Off just on the out of the And then blended that out, which I use the same brush again with no extra colour. Then I'm going to go into the Revolution Pro HD palette just in the shade here just for the brow bone then I'm going to go and get my glitter glue Right, so we're using the W7 Sparkle Slay and we're only taking it as far as that black shade I used because I want some depth. Um, so, just to the. Then I just love this shade, guys. I'm going to go in with Replaceable, that one there. It's a metallic silver and I just press that on.
with the finger because they go on better with fingers. Then I'm going to go in with this pencil brush here and we're going to go in with Betrayal which is more of a shimmer. Um, replaceable is metallic and this is just more of a shimmer just for the inner corners. Then I'm going to go in with this liner brush here and I'm going to go in with yeah, I'm going to go in with On The Rocks, just for the lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. I have a clue what lipstick to wear, guys. Gonna have to be something cool though, I think. And the light keeps going in and out, so I'm sorry about that. Natural daylight and all that. I feel like the left eye looks darker, so maybe get a bit more of untie the knot to make it a little bit lighter. Well, blend that grey out, should I say not lighter and we'll do the same on the right for some reason the right eye always turns out better I'm going to go back in with replaceable this one here And then I'll go in with a finger into Betrayal, that one there, just a ring finger. And that's what that one looks like. And we'll just tap that on the inner corner. So this is the second palette that I've tried from the Love Tech. I got them both in mystery boxes last year and I like them both. I mean... I almost feel like I like this one better just because I don't really have anything in my collection like this. I've got the Natasha Denona Glam palette but I feel like it doesn't run as dark as this. Um, so I'm really really happy that I've got it. Um, and it adds like a kind of uniqueness to my collection. I do want to use this one by itself tomorrow just to make the comparison between this and this. I feel like I'm going to like replaceable better. Um, and there's some shades that I haven't used. I've used this before in a live with another palette. But yeah, I do want to do one more look with that and then we can shop my stash. Um, so let's choose a lip it. Let me go and find one. I want to wear one of these deck of scarlet pencil things I've got. I've had them ages. So what's this one? This is like a purple. Um, I don't think that's going to go. So we'll leave that. And this one's like, it is like a plummy shade. Let me have a look in the mirror. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. It's not the end of the world. Let's just try it anyway. Mm, I don't think it's going to go. I feel like I should have kept that a little bit more neutral. When it wears off, maybe I will. I need a bigger mirror. I don't think it looks terrible, but I feel like I should have maybe gone in with a little bit more of a muted lip. So guys, this is the overall look. So I'll be back tomorrow for look two and then, like I said, we can pick out some more palettes for the shot my stash. 
Um, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow for look two. Hi guys, welcome back. So we're just going to do the last look with the P. Louise going solo. Love this yesterday and I got quite a few compliments. Um, so we're concentrating on betrayal today. As you can see I've got the left eye done. So I'm just going to see if I can figure out what I actually used. I always have an issue with that. And I've actually put this in the inner corner. It's kind of drying up. It's a Steeler. Um, what is this called? So it's the Steeler in Yellow Tails. But it's called... What is it? I don't know what it's called. Um, the shade though is Yellow Tails. Um, okay, let's swatch this brush off. Okay, so what did I go in with? I want to say I went in with prenup first because there's there's kick up there, so I went in with that one. So let's do that. Um, mirror. So I feel like I'm gonna wash these brushes today. I really, really enjoy them. And I can see myself getting another set. If you need new brushes, guys, go to Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link. I mean, I'm not affiliated with it or anything like that. I get nothing from it, apart from helping you guys out. I'm gonna see if I can get the link and leave it in the description. And then you two can get the discount that I got because I want to say the brushes are $9.99 and if you live in the UK you've got $2.99 shipping on top um, and I actually got them for £10.49 and this palette is beautiful I honestly thought I would be decluttering it So I'm just taking it through the outer V now. So I'd kind of do that and then flick it out. So once I've used this palette, we can do the um, shot my stash. I'm hoping to do that today. Right, let me just get my other palette. Yeah, so I'm hoping to do the shot my stash today. I don't know when it's going to go up though because I feel like I want to get this video sorted because half of it's already on Filmora so I want to get this look on Filmora as well and get it edited and then get it transferred over to YouTube so what day are we today? Thursday it'll probably go up either tomorrow or Saturday um, I'm just going to go in with a shed here for the brow bone and I'm just using that brush there it's just like a fluffy brush Right, and then I'm just going to go back in with this brush here for a slightly darker shade. So I'm running it through the colour switch, even though I don't really need to do that. Um, and then what shade did I go in with? Oh yeah, on the rocks. So I started that on the outer V. So I'm just kind of tapping it in, guys. And then blending it out just to about like halfway. I don't want to blend it all the way across because like yesterday I said if you blend it all the way across you gonna it's gonna look dark in the inner corner and that is not the look that I'm personally going for. And this over here is a little bit it always gets patchy here. Right, so taking that colour off and then I blended it out with a really light shade and it was this one here. It's called Take Care. I would definitely buy more from the P. Louise brand knowing, like, I don't have many eyeshadow palettes. I've got four and that's enough, right, to try. But, I mean... The formula on the palettes, like the ones that I've tried, these two Love Tape ones, I've not tried the other two palettes, um, is just absolutely beautiful. The mattes blend out really, really nicely. And then this shade here, replaceable. It's everything, guys. It's so metallic. And the other one I got, I really, really like that as well. I'm just going to try and blend this side out a bit more. 
yeah left eye is always trickier to do on me let me know if you guys have the struggle I feel like I've got hair on me so it's just the usual W7 sparkle slay and I'm just taking it to here not all the way across and then we're going in with the last silver metallic shade and it's called Betrayal so <clears throat> I would say that's shimmer that's metallic that's where the difference is but you're kind of getting the same look I mean it's not as like metallic as the look I did yesterday I've completely taken the imprint off that there's still a bit of an imprint off the replaceable one then I don't know if this is going to work but I'll try this brush I didn't try this brush before it's just a pencil brush we need to put some line at like no I want to I want to do it like I did that one so better just to get the right brush isn't it right so now I'm using this one here it's the one that has the spoolie on it um, and I'm going in with Ring Off, this black here, and I'm using it as a liner. I could never do this on camera just because I've only just started doing this on my eyes. But let's see. I might have to speed this bit up because this isn't really interesting for you guys, is it, watching me? trying to figure out how to do my liner Right, that'll do. I don't think it's as good as the left eye. I'm going to go in now with the Patrick Tal Major Volume Mascara. It'll look better with this anyway. It's just a really, really simple eye look. Like I said, I went in with this Stila um, White Lies. Yellow Tails. Yellow Tails, sorry definitely drying up which is a shame because I really really like it and there's like half left I'm gonna take might do that now I'm gonna take this out I've done this on a different one that I've got um, I'm gonna take it out I can put some on this pencil brush because there's loads, there's absolutely loads left in it and even though it's dry it can become like usable as a eyeshadow you know like a powder eyeshadow rather than a liquid there's loads in the cap at the top so let's see what this looks like I hate getting rid of things if I don't have to Ooh. I've got way too much darn it didn't really mean to get that that much still very very liquidy never mind doesn't quite go with the silvers and greys but I just wanted to use it and I didn't have an inner corner highlight right so now then let's go in with on the rocks for the lash line I'm just going to use that same brush again I 
and then I'm just going to stamp some of this betrayal back on because we all know I like a lot of shimmer right and then I need to go and grab a lippy which I have no clue what I'm choosing I'm going to put this lip gloss on, it's by Smith & Colt, it's in the shade Now Keith, um, I've barely used it and I feel like if anything's going to go this well, still smells okay. I feel like I need to blend it out a little bit better. Yeah, these brushes definitely need washing today. Right, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done, guys. Um, so this is the overall look. Um, so first impressions on this palette. Well, really, at this point, it's like second or third. Um, I really, really like this palette. Would I have bought this if I would have just seen it on the website? Probably not. Um, just purely because these are my kind of tones normally but I'm glad I've got it because I don't really have many cool tone palettes like this in my collection. I do stand by what I said, it really does remind me of the Jeffree Star cremated palette um, and I would recommend it. If these are your tones I would recommend it. Um, on the TikTok shop in the UK, this isn't one of them, but they do free palettes like this for £25, which I think is good considering the £17 each normally, but they're, they're the more neutral palettes. Um, but I just thought I'd let you know if you don't already know. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving this palette so, so much. Um, so that's going to go away now and we're going to go and shop my stash. So you'll see the shop my stash probably before this video so I don't even know why I'm mentioning it. Um, but yes guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what look you like the best, look one or two. They're very, very similar. This Don't forget to like this video, it really does help get my small channel out there. Share and if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to become part of our little fam. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thanks.